Well, hello there, my new mount. What's your name again? Seriously, what's your name again? <laughs> Been doing some side quests off camera. Gertha. That's right. That's your name. You are quite a girthy girl, aren't you? I'm a girthy girl. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I've been doing some side quests off camera, again, grinding, you see I have hit level 45, in fact, I think, yeah, I'm about to hit level 46, so we're gonna go ahead and tackle Six Emperor Tiridus. I don't know if this is gonna be the last mission, I hope not, because then I literally stopped right before the end, but this is a DLC with open world stuff, so I honestly don't know how long the actual, like, campaign missions for the DLC are going to be, but I would think, at the very least, we're coming up close on this because you know Tahira's dead and now we're gonna go after the guy we've just murdered all the lieutenants for so yeah this kind of feels like it's Whoa. uh the closing moments of the story at least of this dlc and then we can move on to curse of the pharaohs which will be exciting but hello amanet Tahira's death sends a clear message we must eliminate rufio yes we do the brotherhood in sinai is on the brink of extinction did he land at the quarry? No, at Alcinoe. He is most likely lingering on his octoreme. Oh, good! Octoremes are always good news in this game. Oh, hello. He is a master at guarding himself and cutting true fear into the heart of a people. The leader. I feel like this is maybe the end. Where my lieutenants have failed, I will not. I won't set foot on that cursed peninsula of savages but they will bow to me yeah people learn to respect you and you don't respect them that's how that's how that works actually hold on i just realized give me a second uh sound rufio left from under my watch and i caught word of what happened at the bureau but there are good souls too in rome what of memphis the hidden ones are fine but with no clear pharaoh, we are lost. I worry our temples have been sold Whoa, wrong away. way back. <laughs> and then, there is Cleopatra. She has brought prosperity to Alexandria. This I cannot deny. Has she? It is her lover's army that bothers us now. Mark Antony bears the same stench of tyranny that Caesar did. Well, you know, she's got Rufio a type. carries the same order. Yes, to the Sinai. Which is why we must be the welcoming party. Mm, I'd love to be. Of fire and blood. All right, Bayek Targaryen over here. Bayek, Bayek, quick, you must help us. The village is being attacked. Well, that's not good. Hold on, I'm trying to multitask here. How do they know my okay. name? Oh, oh God, Whoa. hold on. Okay, there we go, sorry. Nabateans, do not stand in Rome's way. Oh, Jesus, okay, throwing me right into a fight again, eh? This is, no! oh, yes, this is a bloody massacre. Defend the Nabataeans! What? This is madness! Why are they killing civilians? This is Sparta, actually. Something is not right. I think it might be Rufio trying to show dominance. Just, you know, make an example out of these lowly folk. How the heck did you hit me? Sorry, Amunet, didn't mean to hit you there. Sorry for that distraction, guys. I just realized my phone updated recently. There's a fucking lot of people to kill. Oh my god. Uh, oh god, where do I go first? Let's go over here. Sometimes when my computer does automatic updates, where, you know, it has to restart itself and everything, it resets my microphone options. And that's when my audio sounds weird in some episodes, which has happened in the past many times. So, yeah, I was just making sure they didn't change. Because this is my first time recording since the update, so. But, nope, we're good. Whoa, nope, you don't. Come here, you. Should probably practice parrying. I will, however, take advantage of that man being on fire. So, you know what? I'll do that later. Hey, I got better swords. Maybe I should equip those. Hold on. Uh, gear. 408. Sure. Ow! You whore bag! Oh god, you... Alright, I hate you. You're going down, bitch! Oh, there we go! Yeah! You want some too? Why would you bring a, gu a, a gun, a bow to a knife fight? 
I haven't even been playing games recently that make me think of guns, so I don't even know what's going on here. Oh god, oh god. It's been mostly... What have I been playing recently? Minecraft, this, and Odyssey, and Dead by Daylight, none of which contain guns, so don't ask me. You want some of this? Bitch. You have a yellow arrow above your head, you really think I can't see you? Oh, come on, I hit chain throw, that's bullshit, unless I did hit somebody. I wasn't, I couldn't see, there's too much smoke. Oh god. Big man. You know, I want my other weapons, here we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh shit! Ow, my kidneys! Okay. Oh god, yep, see, I can do it too. Oh god. Okay, you know, taking on three of you at once is probably a bad idea. No! Ow! Come on. Let's take one of you out right now. Almost. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, I can't do anything to get my health back except be really, really careful. Oh, God. I, I, I parried him, but I missed. Oh, God. Yeah! Okay. I'm gonna- No, get off my ex-wife! Ooh, I stabbed him to death while he's on fire, and I, now I'm also on fire. Oh god, okay. Okay. I might be in a bit of trouble here. Oh god, I thought I was dead. Christ on a cracker! Yeah! Oh god, I am so fucking scared there. Oh! Bayek with the flank! That should be all of them. I will survey the area to be sure. I will head to Rufio's nest. Why do I always stop, like, for two or three weeks right before a big fight like that and I have just enough time to forget what all the buttons do? <laughs> it's so scary. Okay, I figured he was out there. But we still don't know why they were just attacking villagers at random. He's probably just establishing his dominance like a fucking animal. That's probably what he was doing. There's a, uh, Feluca? Is that what they're called? Or it's the Feluca these, the one without the sails. And then these are called something different. I don't know, but this is a Feluca. As far as I can tell, madam, I need this. Forgive me. Oh, wait, are these all guards? Yeah, they are. Okay. Honey, I'm gonna need you to move. Get the fuck out of my range! Oh, no, wait, you're friendly. You're also friendly. I guess you guys aren't guards. Okay, well, I guess she was in the way for a reason then. <laughs> She's like, no, those are friendly. What are you doing? Okay, fair enough. Where are you, Rufio? There's a reference to be made there. I should be cautious around here. Oh no. Dive, dive! Ugh, okay. It's, it's fun to do, just hold your breath as long as you're underwater. It's a, a thing from the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. They have a sea lion exhibit, and you know, there's that area for like, you know, water exhibits where you can go underneath, and there's the big glass wall where you can see under the water, and you can see them swimming around. Next to that was this thing with a giant, like, you know, digital clock on it with a big button. And it says the average sea lion can hold their breath for about 10 minutes underwater without taking a breath. How long can you hold yours? And the timer goes up to 120 seconds, two minutes. And so you just hold the button for as long as you can hold your breath, and it times for you how long you can do it. And I managed, it was really hard, but I managed to hold my breath for the whole two minutes, and it was really hard. Mmm. Yeah, you guys are dead. Hello, sir! Boosh! How do I... Hey, yeah, poison yourself, bitch. I'm out! Okay. And 
I mean, I was in aquatics in high school, but that's like, you know, swim racing and water polo, which doesn't involve you going underwater, like, at all, except for, you know, diving in to start the race, or doing the flip at the, at the edge of the pool to go back the other way, but, yeah, like... <laughs> It doesn't exactly... It's not good training to hold your breath, because that's the one thing you don't actually need to do. But, I mean, I've been swimming since I was, like, three. So, we, my sisters and I would have holding breath contests, which, in retrospect, probably wasn't healthy. Who the fuck just saw me? Oh, my, get up there. Oh, God, now those guys are gonna see me. Get down, bike. Oh shit! Oh, I got a big McLarchuge. Oh god. Oh Jesus. I'm just gonna wear you down. I need to get you out of the way as quickly as possible. Oh god. I really wish I could kick you. I don't need no shield. Duck! Oh, that ain't gonna work. Okay, I just have a whole bunch of angry here, don't I? Oh, who just- who let the lion out? Woof, 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 woof. Who let the lion out? You madman! Why would you let the lion out? Adios! That's right. Anyone who dares come on this ship is going to get eaten alive. Ow! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Sniper, no sniping. Too fucking bad. Oh! Wait, is that? Oh fuck, that's him. <gasps> that's him. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna be a bitch and pick you off from afar. I'm definitely not doing that because I ain't a pussy. I'm. Oh shit. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Uh, da! Headshot. Okay, I'm gonna come over there and say hi, Rufio. You wanna fight? I'll give you one. Okay, there's guys on the boat the other way. In fact, they might even be behind me, too. Yeah, they're definitely behind me, too. Well, this was kind of a failed plan, but you know what? Whatever. Hey, bitch! Oh, wrong boat. Oh, shit! I bit all the wrong buttons. Oh, God. Okay. That was quite a leap there, sir. Come here! Well, my, my, don't you have a lot of health. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need a plan. First, switch to the other bow. No, other bow, please. Oh, God. Come here and get it, sonny Jim. Oh, what a load of horse shit. I parried that while your sword was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There we go. Woohoo! I also dodged that. I think I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm definitely gonna die. Uh, stop fighting and run, Bayek! What the fuck are you doing? I wasn't locked on anybody, and I was trying to jump off the boat. He just wouldn't. Okay, buddy. Of course, I was holding down left bumper, too, so I might have just been, been an idiot there. Oh, no, I have a text message. I'm busy! What a lot of fucking... Sir. Thank you. Nope, you first, sir. Really? You're gonna stand exactly where that guy died. Darwinism. <laughs> Boosh! One small for the road, there we go. Alright. I'm gonna switch back to the other arrow now. Actually, I'm gonna switch to fire bombs. 
You know, it would really be great if there was like a harpoon thing on one of these ships. Although I suppose I should count my blessings that there isn't because they can totally use it against me as well and those things hurt like a bitch. Maybe I should keep the arrows out. Oh, I'm the worst. Okay. Rufio. Take one of those. Oh, shit! Ow! Hey, bud. Thank you. All right. Rufio, is it time for a one-on-one? -on -one? No, you're just gonna keep shooting at me. Senna, what are you talking to those guys over there for? I need you here. Okay, well, it seems he lost me. I'll go ahead and harass him. Okay. Bayek, come on, buddy. No, Bayek! Oh my god, you're the worst. I mean, I love you, dude, but come on, man. into there like a little bitch oh Sarah <sighs> okay hold on one second I'm being called you guys like my ringtone by the way of course right <laughs> all right after that little she wanted to play some more dead by daylight and I told her I told her that I'd be ready whenever so it's entirely my fault but yeah hey bitch get the fuck out of there I'm literally about to jump on this guy's head and she calls me and it's like, I'm ready to play! But I told her I'd be ready whenever, so it's my fault entirely. Okay. 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 <sighs> Fuck you! Right in the ass! Ooh, cool, I got a spear. Go him! Yeah! Kinda stealthily. Whatever. <laughs> Order is eternal. That's for Tahira, you bastard. Why have you broken my plans? Because you're an asshole! The Hidden Ones will never allow the Order of Enchant's room to breathe. So it is true. The Hidden Ones exist. <laughs> we thrive. Strange. How you want the same things that we want. Peace. Order. Yeah, well, you want it through a dictatorship. And yet our ideas will survive. You can kill me, but you cannot kill us. Mm, the order is eternal. Caesar built a strong order. Oh, hello. Before he was stabbed in the back by your cowardly wife. Oh! Our power burns in the shadows. And we. Create those shadows. May the hidden ones bury you. Anubis awaits. I mean, the guy's not wrong. But, yeah, it's less about the end goal and more about the means to reach that end goal. That creates the largest difference. I should tell Amunet. Between, uh... She will be pleased. You know, between assassins and Templars. It's always the means, not the goal. Because we do. We both search for peace and order, and but, you know, one of us wants that through freedom and the other one wants that through control, which are pretty much polar opposites, right? So, the greater good. Rufio, please show greater def deference when corresponding with Cleopatra. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. <laughs> must I remind you that she is the queen of Egypt and must be treated as such? I appreciate your efforts to bring Caesar's systemic order to this mystical land, but I cannot have you openly defying her. Heretofore, please pass all correspondence through me for approval. Marcus Antonius. Oh my god, no way! That's crazy. Oh. Salutations, General Rufio. We are assembling a considerable force as per your instructions. I write for assurance from you concerning Mark Antony and Cleopatra. Their liaison is the topic of much conjecture here in Egypt, as I'm sure it is in Rome. 
Can Antony in fact guide the policy of Cleopatra, and not, as many fear, the reverse, continually be led by her? We were heartened by the, his marriage to Octavian's sister. However, the marriage does not appear to have quelled his passion for Cleopatra in the least. Oh, oh. Enough gossip. I remain committed to you and your project. Jibade? I don't know exactly how you pronounce that, but... Three carbon crystal, hell yeah. Okay, well now I gotta get out of here. Uh, that guy also took my boat that I was gonna take to get out of here. Ah, so that sucks. Um, hmm. Desurgeons, desurgeons. There is one over there isolated all on his own. Maybe I should go for that one. Yep. Alright, here we go. Ready? If you guys want to hold your breath with me, do it now. One, two, three. <gasps> Okay, I kept holding my breath for some reason even after I got out of the water, but <laughs> I was, that was a little intense. He started sailing away while I was underwater trying to sneak up on him. Uh, reminds me of when I went to the uh, I went to Monterey with my mom back in March or April, and uh, we just spent the day. It was a three-hour drive, but we just spent the day. Went to the aquarium, had dinner on the pier. It was really fun, fun day. Uh, but in order to get to the area of Monterey that has the aquarium, there's this big tunnel that you have to drive under. And I can't, we can't be the only family that does this. Uh, every time you drive underneath a tunnel for as long as you're in the tunnel, hello, Mr. Goat, you scared me, uh, you hold your breath until you come out the other side. Well, I did that when we were on our way home. I held my breath, and my mom decides she's going to drive like five miles an hour through the tunnel to make me hold my breath for longer. And it was really hard, because... She started laughing, which made me start laughing, and I ended up not being able to do it. But, yeah, thanks, Mom. <laughs> he dead, Jim. They will have peace until the Romans send another general. It is endless. We must make the hidden ones as enduring as the order. Yes, we do. There's a more immediate problem. What now? Gamilat. The people look on him as if upon a god. They glorify his every action. What, are we gonna kill him now, too? <laughs> He fights for the people's freedom. <laughs> you and I just witnessed a massacre. I've spoken to the villagers. There have been many such massacres. You think Gamelot? But it's only a bubble. 